Got some trout, finally. I'm gonna go home and enjoy these now. Stay tuned. Some security in the woods, guys. As I mentioned, guys, this is just one way of feeding the fire starter. Or the So folks, just out planting a few marigolds now in the greenhouse. Um, started a few in the house and they're doing well. Just wanna make sure they were doing okay. So I'm not gonna plant the rest of them here and they're gonna go into my garden. Uh, they help keep uh, insects away. Good for, uh, good for keep the bugs out of your garden. Anyway, stay tuned. So these are the marigold seeds guys. They're little, like little flakes and I've just put two or three in each hole, just a little hole in each each of those pots. <clears throat> and uh, we'll just cover them up. So folks, what we have here now is in the back we have the marigolds. Out front here I have 16, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16 zucchini. These are the dark green variety that I grow. Over here I got 10 cucumbers. And these are country fair hybrid for pickling. I pickle cucumbers to make uh, dill pickles actually. So we'll plant those seeds now and uh, them germinate and uh, the cucumbers will stay in here of course for all season and the zucchini I'll transplant out into the uh, garden later on when I get that bed straightened up so beautiful day strawberries are coming actually starting to see flowers I appreciate that and I got some tomatoes showing up later on today or tomorrow uh, father-in-law has some tomatoes he got extra ones so I'm gonna bring them down here these here are the marigolds that I had going last week, last week, a couple weeks ago now. And some chives, some basil, and what's that one? Yeah, chives and basil. Here we go. So to increase the chance of germination, folks, I put two seed in each pot. Uh, one of them will come, I hope, for sure, and the other one I'll sacrifice and uh, I'll have cucumber plants. Same thing I'll do with the zucchini over here in a second. Let me just cover them over, cut them down a bit, turn it down here nice and good. And just cover them over and pat them down. I like to have the soil touching the seeds, not too loose, so they get some to grab onto when they start to germinate. And this soil already has some built-in food fertilizer in it, so as padding soil, I will top up with fertilizer trip seed. And I use some of this stuff usually, guys. Concentrated fish liquid fertilizer. You put a cap pull that into a, a, a watering can full of water and Last all season, great stuff. So now guys, I'll get these all watered now and uh, we'll check back when they sprout. Hey there folks, got a uh, little bit different system from a potato bed this year. I find always when potatoes just grow up, get up top to get a water them, 
hard to get the water right down to the roots where you need to. So this year I got some of these leaky holes, or drip holes, I guess what you call it, drip, drip line. Just laid it over the potato bed now before they start to come up. And what I'll do then is when it's time to water the potatoes, I just turn on the hose, hook it up. I got a leak there right now, but I fixed that. Hook it up and uh, it'll water my potato bed. And I'll leave it going for a little bit. Get the water right down on the roots where it needs to be. That is change around a little bit of the placement here. I didn't have enough to go back row to row to row, so I sort of spread it out just around like so. And uh, hopefully it'll water all the bed once I get it set up properly. So, drip holes. I used to have that in the greenhouse, now I'm gonna try it the potato bed this year. See how it works out. Talk to you later, guys. Shouldn't have to water this with all the rain we've had, guys, but uh, just put seed in there, so I'm gonna give it a rinse anyway. What we have in here some spinach. Lettuce, carrots, beets, and uh, spinach, lettuce, carrots, beets. I guess it's different here. In the folks, and the greenhouse is eating, and uh, getting ready to try something new here. I picked this up this week. It's called Roll Out Lettuce. Okay, got a couple different varieties. This one's uh, just a regular green lettuce. This one is called prize head lettuce this one here is called oak leaf red lettuce so I've got three of these here and basically all it is and you see in the packaging is all the seeds are contained in a roll that you lay on top of the soil and you just water it and keep it moist uh, water it twice a day I think that's what it says on the packaging so I want to give this a try now I've never used this before folks might not work but I'm gonna try to grow some lettuce some roll out lettuce. So, see how it goes. So folks, there's five feet in each roll, and it basically says to put the seed side down and the fabric side up. So, I got three lots here. I've got enough room here for one, two, three, to do three rolls in this bed I have here. This is the tray I have in the greenhouse, and see how it goes. So, I'll cut this to length now, and uh, we'll get it on there and, and plant it and water it. Stay tuned. Roll out lettuce. Never heard of it before. So, folks, I've rolled out the lettuce. Three different varieties there. That one's a little short, but that's fine. Now it says all you do is water it and keep it moist so, uh, for the remaining of the days. Do not let it dry out. So, uh, let's we'll see how this goes. That'd be interesting to see if this works. I assume it's like to get. Oh, yeah, I know you can see the seeds. See the seeds are in the, the seeds right in the in the fruit material. So, oh, if I get lettuce for all that, I'll never eat it all. Might be selling lettuce after this, folks. Anyway, so we'll give this a good soaking now. Make sure I water it twice a day, one morning and an evening for sure. It says don't let it dry out, and it takes about ten days to germinate. So, see how it goes. Roll out lettuce, guys. Talk to you later.